Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this uh, wonderful boat. This is in Rocky Neck in Gloucester. And this is owned by Larry Dahmer. He's a wonderful artist himself. And he, he uh, has done, <laughs> this is a magnificent boat. He works on it almost every year, remodels it. And it's really uh, special. So do a, good, do a sketch here and make sure that you make the boat big enough. You know, in the photo, I'm not sure it's big enough, but you know, depending on the size of your paper, the painting is about the boat and the scene, you know, but it, you want to have that boat large enough so that it, it, it takes the attention and is the center of interest. Okay, I wet the paper first here and I'm just dropping a wash of phthalo blue, bringing that all the way down to the water. Whenever you paint the ocean or rivers or water, you know, always put a first coat of, of blue. Uh, usually it's ultra, uh, in this case, phthalo. But putting another stroke of phthalo across that sky. Get some nice color in there. Let it come down. And I'm gonna run, you know, this, this painting looks very complicated because of all the stuff in the background, but, you know, boats and buildings and so forth. But, but I'll walk you through this, and it's, it's really very simple. Okay, we're gonna run a, a line of trees behind the uh, buildings and boats and so forth. So that's just the mixture of uh, cobalt blue with a touch of raw sienna. Maybe a little tiny bit of rose in there, but uh, it's just distant trees and, you know, and remember, it's just behind the building. So what we're doing is creating a tree line and the top of the buildings and so forth, uh, it's the bottom of the trees. And then we're just taking a small brush and indicating uh, little rooftops and buildings. And, you know, you don't have to, uh, you're not doing a portrait of this of these uh, buildings, so just you can kind of make up the shapes. Uh, and we're just developing the rooftops here. So keep it simple. It's, this is all in the background. You won't even notice it when we're done. You know, they're just pieces of light and so forth in the background that draw your eye. I, I added a little, very little touch of red there just to get a little bit of uh, variety in the background and break that up. Okay, a little, little bit of shadow on that building. Just see how it is, very simple, just pieces. All right, we're gonna paint the sand here. You know sand, it's always raw sienna, touch of rose, and then feed in cobalt blue until you get to the color you want. Sand is always different. You know, it's sometimes it's warm like this, other times it's very cool and gray and damp. And so you add more blue. Anyway, we're just painting all the sand, leaving some lights around the rocks, the big rocks in the in the foreground, excuse me. And there's a patch of, it's low tide here, so that you can see, uh, you know, the sand in the background around the boat. There's a lot of junk on top of that boat. So the sand comes down to the dock, and then under this, under this dock, a wharf, uh, you can see through a corner of it. So I mixed up a gray here. This is just ultramarine, I'm sorry, cobalt blue with a touch of rose and raw sienna to gray it down. So mix that. You really want to learn to mix your grays using those three colors. It's always red, yellow, blue. Every color in your palette, every color out there is made up of red, yellow, blue of some sort. So get that in your, in your toolbox. So I'm painting the whole wharf including underneath. And I'm also adding this, this is not in the photo. I'm just putting a, a shack on the, on the left here to create a nice shadow and just having it peak, peak in the painting. All right, we'll paint the boat. The boat is, is a beautiful black, but obviously it's reflecting the sky. So, um, you know, you can't see it too well in the video, but I'm adding a lot of, I'm making a black with ultramarine and quinciana, as I usually do. And then I'm adding uh, some cobalt blue. I'm charging it up with the cobalt blue to show the reflection of the sky. It, it's hard to see here, I know, but 
a lot of cobalt blue in there, in this, especially on the side here. You can barely see it there. You want to show the reflection, the turn of the boat, where the light is hitting that side, <coughs> and it's lighter. Take your time painting the boat. The whole, you know, the painting is about the boat, so it has a lot of wonderful features to it. It has this beautiful beige putty color on the bottom. It's very elegant. It really is. It's a, it's a really beautiful boat. In spite of all the, the work he's done on it, it's just amazing. Anyway, it's an iconic boat. Everybody, everybody paints this boat in, in Rocky Neck and when they come to Gloucester. It's, it's in dry dock here and it's, uh, you know, it comes in, he leaves it and takes it out all summer. Right, there's a nice shadow underneath that uh, rooftop and then it comes down these, these five windows. And I'm, I'm using the phthalo blue here to show the reflection of the sky in the windows but that's gonna get darker here as I put more shadow underneath that rooftop that hangs over. There's a piece of um, a tarp on the top. I'm not sure, you know, there's so much on this boat. It puts beautiful wood, you know, there's beautiful wooden sides to it. That's just a little touch of raw sienna and quin sienna mixed to show the, the, you know, the wood, the edge of the top there. And there's a little dinghy here. I think I made it a little bit small, but it's okay. <clears throat> and all of this is in the shadow. You know, the shadow, you can see the boat is floating right now, but the shadow will tie this all together and bring this all down. There's not a mast, you know, in the, in the photo there's no mast on the boat, but I think it's so much more interesting to had, add that mast. I just mixed up a very dark ultramarine and quinciana and added a lot of rose to it uh, underneath that dog. A lot of, I'm just painting negative shapes that represent, you know, wood and uh, beams. And... All right, here comes the shadow. So the building is casting a shadow it's all shadow underneath that dark, except that peak hole there at the right where you can see the, all right, so this whole boat is, is covered in that shadow across the dinghy. And I mixed the, uh, ultramarine and rose, then I added just a pinch of raw sienna to turn it more of a grayish violet. You can see how that shadow really pulls the whole painting together. All right, so we'll bring it over here and Lead it, have, have it lead the viewer into the painting as well. Just making that part up, you know, you know, I just want to have a kind of a lead in shadow there. All right, a couple of um, pilings. And they're on the other side of the pier. There's one a little. There's one on this side of the pier, it's much higher. <clears throat> all right, so here's a, a darker shadow because it's getting no light at all in there and it gives us a chance to accent the boat. The same color is just less water, ultramarine and rose touch of touch of raw sienna. 
So it's underneath and then it fades as it comes out. So you blend it into that, the rest of that shadow along the dinghy there. Just take some, you know, a little water and, and fade it in. All right, out, out, out in the background now, take your time with this because you got all day. Uh, you can add whatever you want back there. You know, just keep it simple. You don't want anything that's so strong it's going to take the attention away from the boat. And, you know, people glance up there, but they always come back to the, to the boat in the shadow. So there's a dock out there. That, that I'm adding and then there's a bunch of boats and the boats are just lines you know they're just you know very colors I'm using a you know a dark and white really just some darks and lights just you can see they're just little drops of lines that create a boat and then if you want some of them have masks on them the little red one back there and then take some uh, phthalo blue here again and put it I put a streak in the middle and then I blend it in you want to show some variety and some movement in the water with another wash on top of that so that's what it does and it adds some nice color to it you know all right I added some raw sienna here as the water comes to the shore you can see through it you can see that warmth Putting a little shadow on the rocks in the front here, these big rocks. All right, I'm gonna put a few figures in here on the, uh, resting on the dock, sitting on the, standing on the dock there. That's, that's a big guy. He's a fisherman. And I'm gonna put some fishing fishing gear on him, big orange suit. And she's next to him looking for his, his weekly pay. Where's the money, honey? Uh, okay, catching the, uh, and there's the boss saying, I'm sorry, I don't have any money this week. <laughs> uh, Just making up some figures, you know, putting some black boots on them. So you can work on, you know, there's so much in the background, but don't make it so busy that it takes all the attention away from, from the boat. I'm using a little bit of gouache here to accent uh, these people. Put a, put a little blouse on her. Some tie lines out to the boat. And I'm using, I'm just adding a touch of light on, on the uh, mullions of the windows here, just the accent, just the bottom part where the, where the light is hitting. Just the edge of the roof, picking up the light. It's just a nice little accent that helps brighten up that, that dark area. Okay, a little accent on the beam. All right, thank you for watching. Take your time with that and, and have fun. I will see you again very soon.